Runercia in Brigandine, The Legend of Runercia for the Nintendo Switch. So this is a multi-part series, so if you haven't seen the other parts yet, I suggest you go and watch those. I will link you to a playlist to your upper right. Alright, when last we left off, I had no idea what I was doing, but I'd love to tell you that it's different now, but there are like no guides to this game, so we're just going to have to rough it. With that being said, let's get to it. So we have the Castle of Lorenz and the Castle of Harmonia. And as you can see, one is a little bit stronger than the other, but that should be okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are in organization phase. So we are going to go to quests. Take her to the training grounds again. We are then going to go quests here. Again, to the training grounds. Okay. us our troop combat power for each of our guys here. See that? So we got Schisler, Elena, and Klaus. In the old game, you could only attack with three knights at a time. I'm going to assume it's the same way in this game. In any case, we have a save file, so let's just, whoa, I'm sorry. I had I pre-gamed with an energy drink before I got here, and it's not agreeing with me. So let's take Ferric, send him to the training grounds, and Jack, let's send him to the training grounds, and keep these three. Now, quests. These are our strongest people, these three. So we'll take Ariana, Training Grounds, Brendan, Training Grounds, Theodora, Training Grounds, and leave Rubina, Grados, and Shiu. Okay. Now we will end phase. We are now in attack phase. So we take a look here. We have Lorenz, which would be going up against Warren. And we also have Harmonia, which would be going up against Cornworn. Now, keep in mind, our total CP is not what it says it is. We have to take a look at our base info. So, we have 4295486741. Maybe that does add up to 13352. Actually, I think it is taking into account that you can only attack and defend with three at, at a time. So, yeah, it is what it says it is. I apologize. So, let's attack right there, baby. Three guys. Alright. So we're gonna try to take out Warren. And now, we come to Harmonia. We send Shizzler. We send Elena. And we send Klaus. And hopefully we win. So let's end the phase. We will begin invasions. Okay, so once the attack phase ends, troops of each country will execute their invasion orders beginning with the troop with the highest total combat power. Once an invasion begins, an arrow points from invading bases to defending bases on the main map. All battles are fought at the defending base. When both sides have chosen to attack each other, or when multiple countries attack the same base, 
A troop with the highest total combat power gets priority. If two bases try to invade one another, tr one another troop with the highest total CP gets to invade, and the battle will take place at the weaker base. If multiple powers attack the same base, only the power with the highest CP can attack while others must wait. Okay, so we are invading Warren. So let's do it. Let's have at them. Yar, have at ye. The Battle of Warren. Each base has a different battle map on which knights and monsters will do the fighting. The winning troops will occupy the base. If the invading side wins a battle, they will occupy the base. If the defending side loses, they retreat to another of their occupied bases. If that was the last base of a defending side, it results in the destruction of the nation and a game over in the case of the player's nation. In battle, you could choose up to three troops from all invading troops. In the case of a victory, all invading troops will be moved to the new base at once. The knight icons on the right show the current action sequence. Invaders have a sword icon, defenders with a shield. A knight's troop is marked with an A, B, or A, C, with monsters from that troop A fixed with the same letter. Knights with the highest level go first, but the sequence could change if a knight gains a level during combat. Okay. So we will send out. We'll start with our highest levels first. And then finally, Rubino. Yes, we will deploy these troops. This looks similar and a lot different than the PlayStation 1. Generally speaking, you win a battle by driving away all enemy troops or defeating the ruler. Knights will retreat wounded if their HP is reduced to zero, but monsters with no HP are destroyed. When a knight retreats, all monsters in their troop retreat as well. When a ruler retreats, all other knights of that nation will also retreat and the battle ends. All battles are turn-based. A turn ends once all troops on both sides have finished their actions. Knights with a higher level will act first. The knight's face icons on the right mark the action sequence. Invaders have a sword icon. Defenders with a shield. A monster troop is marked with an A, B, or C. Okay, okay, we know that. I think it told us that already. General Grados, there's something I would like to ask you. Yes, Your Grace. Have you ever hesitated on the battlefield? Good question. No, I have not. Are you worried, Your Grace? If you are hesitant about this battle, you need only give the word, and we shall withdraw. There are times in war when retreat is necessary. No, I do not intend to surrender. It's just, when I see an enemy on the battlefield, I cannot help but think how they are also fighting for something they believe in. That is true. Your Grace, an enemy will always have their own reasons for fighting. That is how all wars begin. My father used to say, the history of Runercia is a history of war. Norsalia will fight for the day when all wars shall end. Okay, I told you before that I have never hesitated. That's because following your great leader is what brings a knight joy. There is no reason to hesitate, and there never will be. I shall continue to protect you until the day when all wars have ended. All right. No, oh, now they're talking. Ginger says, we will claim this victory in the name of Gustava and the Emperor. Turn one. Okay, so Grados moves first. We don't need to, we don't need to keep reading this. Okay. So, I'm going to take it like I do in the original Brigandine, and I will see how that works out. So, let's leave him there. Now, let's take this guy here, the dragon. Dragon! And we will move. We will move him here. And tell him to stand by. We will then take... Where, where is it? There we go. The wyvern him uh, uh, let's
let's see. Let's move him. Let's move him here. And tell him to stand by. You uh, can stay right there. Yeah, that's a good place for him. Stand by. And stand by. Okay, so basically what we are going to do is form a wall. We're going to move her right there. We want her around for healing. Move uh, right there. Stand by. Move uh, right there. Stand by. We will keep the goblin right where he is. He doesn't really look like a frontline troop. So we'll let the enemy take their turn. And if this is anything like the original, the enemy should come right at us. And it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. So we're going to move. We're going to take Rubino. We're going to move him up here. Stand by. We're going to take his iron golem. We're going to move him right there. Stand by. We're going to leave. We're going to actually move the elemental right there so that way he can pop out when they get here and we're gonna stand by on the dragon and we're gonna wait for them to come to us and we are just going to skip our turns until they get here ginger is having some troops stand by for some reason like behind and now they're moving backwards this is interesting so they're they're starting to wall up a little bit let's see what they do i want to see what they do i want to see how the enemy behaves i really want to see how the enemy behaves Because I gotta get an idea of how they behave before I know how to fight them. So now they're... I don't know what the heck they're doing. <laughs> Are they walling up? Are they coming at us? It looks like they're walling up to me. Interesting. Very interesting. We could perhaps bait them in. So we'll move. Uh, we'll move him up. And stand by. Because I am not going to. Stand by. Okay. And now Grados. Okay, so some of our troops can't. Okay, well, he can move. Okay, so we're going to move him here. Basically, if it's not blue, then that means we're not in our leader's, like, X range, which is a bad place to be. But we're going to end up moving Grotto's up anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much. We'll move him right there. And now Xu will move. Right there. Stand by. We got our uh, bronze golem. We're going to move him there. And stand by. Next, whoops, next we will move Shu uh, right there. And, uh, yes, and our goblin uh, right there. Okay, and stand by. Now let's see what they do. Boy, 
their chickens. That's what they're doing. They're they're chickening out right now. Let's see what he does. Okay, finally we get them attacking. So we just had to bait them a, a little bit. Youch, that hurts. Oh, we missed him. Wolves are very fast, so it's not shocking. And the, the thing that makes wolves so good is that they can attack and then move again after they've attacked. So let's see what we can do, if anything. Perhaps we can move him up. Nope. Select. We'll move. Okay. So we cannot use magic after moving. So we'll have him stand by. What are his skills? It's giving us a little too much information. We have Float Charge and Prism Shot. We can't reach anything at, currently with him. But that's to be expected, really. So I'm going to move him up, have him stand by. Okay. I got a healer right right near there so I don't feel that it's too much uh, out of the ordinary really to move him up except I got another guy right here too so I'm gonna move him first up here we're gonna use a skill glacial fury deals moderate damage to a single target. So let's hit the unicorn because we don't want them healing. Excellent, that went well. Okay, so now let's move up here. We're gonna use a skill called Iron Punch. And we're going to attempt to hit, I guess it's called an evil spot. No, it's called a demon. Okay, it's called a demon. Demons were in the first one too, and we missed, of course, because golems miss all the time, basically. They're very powerful, but they're very, very inaccurate. So what can Grottos do? Can Grottos do anything? Magic skill, anything. We have Divine Ray and Heal. Oh, he heals too. That's good. Okay, so can we hit any enemies? It doesn't look like we can hit any enemies. Not quite in range. So they've managed to stay out of range of our Divine Ray. We have heals. We can heal. Uh, yeah, we'll heal our giant snake. That's a useful thing to do. Okay. So now we have battle all the A troops now. So we have here a Cyclops. What can a Cyclops do? It's got Hyper Fist which is his normal attack, and heavy impact. Okay, so let's... Let's see, it costs 40 MP. He can only use that once, so let's save that for later and just try to hit this wolf with a normal attack. And we nail him. And he appears to have suffered some sort of status condition. 
So, dragons have acid breath. Which this particular dragon can only use once. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, well, we'd have to hit our own guys to use it from this particular position. So, let's see if we can move him. And then use... Okay, so in this game, it doesn't let you use... It doesn't let you move and use your dragon breath. In the original, I'm pretty sure it did. But we'll use dragon fury. And nail the demon. Okay, and now we have a wyvern. We're gonna move him somewhere. Preferably not here, right? And if you're hearing a weird pinging sound, that's the sound of windows pinging. My hard drive mercilessly. And I really wish it wouldn't do that. I don't know why it does that or what it's doing when it's doing that, but in any case, that's what it's doing. So we're going to use... What's Aqua Splash? Uh, it looks like it... It's like a ray. Okay, yeah, alright. That's what it does, so let's use it. Because multiple damage is better than like, damage to one, in my opinion. Let's take a look at her magic. We got Area Cure. Fail covers a single ally unit within a 3x radius and a fail that will nullify all damage. Okay. Area Heal. Divine Ray. Heal Cure. We also got a Halo. Guarantees the next skill or spell of one ally unit within a 4x radius will hit. Target unit will also gain one and a half times experience, so that's very helpful. Can we hit anything with Divine Ray? Yes, we can. We can hit that wolf with the Divine Ray. Let's hit him. Should hurt, and he is done. And now their line is broken, which is good. Let's move him here and see what he can do. If anything, poison splash. Oh, he poisons things. Okay. Let's see if we can poison something. And we did. Critical hit and poisoned. Very good. And we get dealt a critical hit as well, but that's all right. And now we will use golem punch on the wolf and hit him. And he counterattacks. Okay, now Ginger is going to be doing something. All right, well, our goblin really took a shot there, let me tell you. Ooh, Gino Frost. Yeah, our goblin's dead, unfortunately. Nothing we could do about that. Okay, so now Iona's going to move. They're going to use Curse Curse Hearts, as you can see. Which is why I wanted to kill that demon. Wow. Yikes. They're whooping us. Like hardcore. Critical hit. Youch. And we missed twice. Man, that's not good. Wow. Wow. Let's hit their demon. With frost. We have to try to eliminate that demon. Can we move and use an attack? Prism shot. We'll hit our own guy, but it should be alright. Yeah, I dealt minimum damage to him. Okay, we got our Frost Dragon and our Iron Golem. Who 
do we give it to? Let's try to give it to the Iron Golem. Iron Punch, hopefully. Okay, so we kill off their demon. Excellent. And he gains a level. High five. Yes, okay. So now we are going to use a skill. Ice Breath. On these fellas here. That dealt a lot of damage to their unicorn. Okay, turn six. Okay, their wolf takes poison damage, and now it is Kratos' turn. We're going to take a look at our skills and our magic. Holy Slash. Holy Break. Judgment. And Iron Aura. Okay. So, maybe we should heal with him. I like to try to let our troops heal. I mean, not do as much, like, as they can on their own. You know what I'm saying? So that's area heal. Okay, I didn't mean to heal just one guy. I meant to area heal, but I think I misread the skill list. No big deal. Let's take this dragon. Let's use acid breath on their unicorn and their leader. And we gain a level high five. Yes. Their unicorn is somehow still alive. Unbelievable. Okay, so we're going to move him then. Move the wyvern. And use tail whip. And hopefully do the unicorn in. And we do. No more unicorn. And gavel gains a level. Good job, high five. Alright. Well, the cyclops is hurt. I would send him after somebody. But I'm kind of afraid to at this point. Because... He's a pretty high-level monster, and he's pretty hurt. And I don't really know how strong their leaders are in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, I'm going to have him stand by, because I prefer to keep my distance, if possible. Okay, so now it's Shu's turn, and Shu, I believe, has area, or area heal. Area heal. Okay. Still can't get that bronze golem, though. Can we move and use magic? I don't know. I don't think we can, actually. We also have Divine Ray, which can't hit anything, so we're just going to use... What was it? Area cure. Area heal. Okay. should have done was move the bronze golem back and then use it. I forgot the bronze golem was under her command. That's a newbie mistake. My bad. My bad. So we're going to stand by. It's alright. We'll be alright. We're going to let's see what he's got for skills. He's got snake bite, aqua splash. Let's Because I want a shot at the leaders. Snake bite. We're gonna snake bite. Let's see her or her. It deals more damage to Ionia. Ionia. Okay. Let's snake bite her. 113 damage. And she doesn't have much in the way of a direct counterattack, but youch. Dang, man. That thing hurts. Geno Frost, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Geno Frost hurts. Bad. 
this is a rough battle, let me tell you. Okay, Finral, what you gonna do? Finral's gonna use Cure on his Wolfie. And he's going to send him after our Elemental. And we get a crit on the element on the uh, Wolfie. Oh man, that's rough. Okay, so he's almost dead. Youch, man. <laughs> We're gonna have to get our leaders involved. There's like no doubt about that. They're gonna have to get involved hardcore if we're gonna have a chance at winning this. Which is not something you had to do in the first game, necessarily. But it is necessary right now, so we're gonna move. We're gonna use a skill, Glory Slash, and we're not gonna use it on the leader. We're going to use it on their Bahamut, because we want to take out the Bahamut, if all, uh, all possible, and of course we miss. We have awful luck. Let's see if we can use Prism Shot here. We would hit nothing worth hitting. So let's move him out of there. Let's get him out of there. So we have our Iron Golem here skill uh, iron punch uh let's see he's not in a position to hit anything is he no he's not bummer so he can go after a wolf which is not really optimal but it is what it is i guess we're going to attempt to punch that wolf Which is easier said than done because, like I said, golems are highly inaccurate. So we got a frost dragon here. We got ice breath. We can't use it. We're one MP short. Okay, apparently we can use it. That's weird. Alright, well, we're gonna use it. Because it doesn't miss and it can't be counterattacked. So it is now Grados' turn. He's got skills, he's got magic, he's got everything. He can't use Divine Ray again. And we have troops that desperately need healing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heal that Wyvern because he's right in the thick of it. We have a dragon here. And he can't do but anything really right now in his current position. So we're just gonna have him stand by. We have our wyvern here. Let's let's try to tail whip this guy. Or maybe we should just tail whip the wolf. Because it's gonna be it's going to be a waste of time, really, to try to tail whip that Bahamut. So the wolf is dead and out of the way, at the very least. And Gavel gains a level high five. Okay. We need to find a way to get this guy involved. He can't move there because he's on a hex. So all he can really do is stand by, unfortunately. So now it's shoes, turn, magic, area, heal, or maybe divine ray. Nope. Nothing really is divine rayable, so area heal it is. We have to stop that leader from continuously using Geno Frost, because that is rough. a skill aqua splash that it's can we nope that's not what I want yeah I don't know okay in the old game there 
stars. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Aqua splash this person here. Okay. So we can get the iron golem back. I mean the bronze golem back into action. But let's not. surprisingly move him over. That might have been a mistake on their part. Okay, they cast Protect on him. That's rough. He didn't need that, trust me. Snake bite. Their wolves are taking a pounding at the very least. Okay, now we've got Rubino again. Where the heck is Rubino? C, right? Okay. Oh, he's right there. All right. So Rubino proved ineffective against that wyvern. What can we do, though? We need to get on that wyvern. Something hard. Let's try to Glacial Fury his butt. Got a critical hit, which is nice. And he gains a level high five. Okay. He's got magic of his own. He's got frost. He's got resist. We're gonna frost that wyvern. Or whatever it is. The Bahamut, sorry. Not the wyvern. Bahamut. as we possibly can. Prism shot. Can we get him? No, we can't. Darn. Let's have him stand by then. We got our golem here. We can't get to the Bahamut with him, but we can back up our fearless leader at least. Let's iron punch this guy and give him something to think about. Middle spank. What the heck is a middle spank? So Fortimer gains a level. Okay. Grotos' turn. Can we do a thing? Because we got stuff in the way. He's got to move somewhere. Skill. Holy slash. We're going to hit their leader with it. Hopefully. Ouch. Oh my god. What a shot. That guy is strong as hell. So when you destroy a leader, all their troops retreat as well. Sometimes their troops get left behind, even. So let's get these guys back into hex range as best as we can. He can actually attack the Bahamut, so let's have him do that, hopefully hitting him. get him in here. Skill. Hyper fist. Let's try to hyper fist this guy. 106. Not too bad. Of course, they deal more damage. It is Zhu's turn. Magic. She is all What should we do? She's B. We're throwing everything at these guys. 
bite. That would deal 125. Or rather, how much would it deal? Snake bite. Okay. Let's do that. Aqua Splash. Because it at least kills their wolf. And deals a little bit of damage. Let's hope we can keep them alive long enough, right? Let's get her up there and see what she can do to this guy. Healer against healer. Not much. Deal more than that guy, though. Get him up here. Well, we did all we could. We really did. She's going to retreat now. So, we didn't get the Bahamut killed. Which is a bummer. But, we'll get him next time. For sure. But, we do get victory. And that, my friends, is worth a high five. A low five. A high five. A low five, a high five, a low five, a high five, a low five, a high five, a low five, high five, low five, high five, low five, high five, low five, high five, blah 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 blah. I always stumble on that, but you know what I can do? Rule number two, number 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 rule. I practice that a lot in order to do that. So we achieve victory and a bonus experience of two hundred. Morvid gains a level. Gavel gains a level, and we can get some class-ups now, too, which is pretty dope. Nostris gains a level. Burgus gains a level. Zabital gains, gains a level. We lost, like, one monster, right? That's not too bad, I would say. Like, our first fight ever in this game, I think that's pretty good. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be, honestly, because... In the original Brigandine, the first couple of fights are pretty much, you know, you just take it. You take them. That's it. So we defeat Gustava in this battle. And occupy Warren. We have our invasion of Cornworn to concern ourselves with. However, that is going to have to wait until the next part. But before I leave you, I wanted to show you a brand new energy drink. I ran out of bang energy drinks. So today I have Mountain Dew Amp Gain Fuel, zero calories. And what is it? It is charged raspberry lemonade. That sounds delicious. And it's got one of these really weird looking pop top things that it's like reclosable or something like that so let's get it maybe I could get it like right at the camera it just drenched me <laughs> wow I am completely soaked in Mountain Dew game field <laughs> did you guys get any of that I hope you did I hope you did. I hope it was it got a good shot at least. Oh my god. Wow, it just spewed all over. Well, bottoms up. Okay. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm soaked. I'm drenched. <laughs> I am soaked to the bone <laughs> in mountains. up leave a comment below and if you haven't already subscribe and hit the bell icon so that way you never miss mountain dew spewing forth all over the place and i hope that you all have a good night thank you so much for watching i love you all and with that i bid you a fine farewell and adieu subscribe